What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and Wi-Fi 6 is here. More and more devices are starting to support it. And this makes a massive difference in the enterprise and educational markets. But it doesn't make nearly as big of a difference in the home. Let's figure out why. 802.11ax, or Wi-Fi 6, is part of the wireless standard that lives in the 1 to 6 gigahertz spectrum. It brings speed improvements ranging from about 24 to 37%, but its biggest improvement is how it expands upon MU MIMO. MU MIMO is the ability for an access point to send data to multiple devices at once. 802.11ac, or Wi-Fi 5, brought MU MIMO, but it was limited to 5 gigahertz networks only. The other big limitation is that it could only work for sending data to multiple devices. It couldn't receive data from multiple devices at the same time. Wi-Fi 6 expands upon MU MIMO by allowing for data to be both sent and received to and from multiple devices at the same time. Now, the available number of streams is denoted by the number that comes before MU MIMO. And to make things easier for the rest of this video, I'm just going to refer to it as MIMO because every device that I'm going to be talking about supports MU MIMO, so this should just make things a little easier. Now the APAC Lite has 2x2 MIMO, the APAC Pro has 3x3 MIMO, and the Nano HD and Flex HD both have 4x4 MIMO. Now again, each one of those access points can still only receive data from one device at a time. Now, this isn't a big deal in the home because I could have three TVs watching different Netflix streams and the data gets sent to each of the TVs, it gets cached, and then once the cache starts running out, each TV will request some new data. And as long as there's data cached in the TVs, there's no noticeable performance loss for anybody else that's on the network, say, browsing Reddit. In the enterprise, though, you might have 40 devices connected to one access point. So the ability for multiple devices to send and receive data combined with the faster speeds means that you have a much more efficient network once you move to Wi-Fi 6. Ubiquiti has started releasing some of its Wi-Fi 6 lineup of access points. The first one they released being the U6 Lite, which is the replacement for the APAC Lite. They also have the U6 LR available for pre-order. I do appreciate the shorter names instead of APAC Lite, we now have just U6 Lite but they messed up the name of one of the other access points in the lineup. However, it's not out of EA, so I can't really talk about it right now, but Ubiquiti has a lot to do with their naming schemes. But the U6 Lite is what I have here today, so let's take a look at it. So due to some technical difficulties, I have already unboxed the U6 Lite before a uh, video was actually rolling. So in the box, <laughs> We get the access point itself. It's just got its little protect, protective uh, dish on it thing. Uh, on it itself, it says Unify 6. Not sure why they put Unify 6 on it. I mean, they could just put 6 or put it on the back because nobody cares from the front. Um, you have your PoE input, uh, just network jack. It's a regular gigabit RJ45 port. This is the same size as the old APAC Lite and as the Nano HD, although this now shares more in common with the Nano HD than it does with the old uh, uh, APAC Lite because it now has a metal back, which the Nano HD had, but the APAC Lite did not have. It also uses the same mounting bracket. <laughs> it also uses the same mounting bracket. You get this like quick start thing, uh, a drop ceiling plate, and the mounting bracket itself. And that's all you get in the box. Although inside of this little uh, screw case, I'm expecting to find, yes, and I can already see it, the release tool for the bracket, which is gonna be so handy because Tech Tool Supply Direct sells one. And that's the one that I keep on my keychain, but this is much smaller, much easier to carry around. And now that it comes with the access points, that's fantastic. Although, oh, I'm an idiot. I installed that the wrong way. Uh, so if you install this, it's not really coming off, but if you push in the little release tool, you can then slide it, I guess. I don't know. It's a cool little tool. It's a lot smaller, so this is what's going to go on my keychain. It also has a little hole on the end of it, so you can put it around like a, like a key ring, so that's really nice. Now the easy comparison for the U6 Lite would be the original APAC Lite. They are both a 2x2 MIMO access point, this one just being Wi-Fi 6. My APAC Lite has been shell swapped into an old Apple access point. It doesn't make a performance difference in terms of, you know, the casing, so it should still be a fair comparison. But the U6 Lite now has a metal back. 
same as the Nano HD, so maybe we compare it to the Nano HD. Or do I compare it to my go-to access point, the APAC Pro? But this is a lot of options, and I don't know how to whittle it down, so I'm just going to compare all of them. Now getting into my testing methodology, I have a UBIT Wi-Fi 6 card based on the Intel AX200 chipset in my desktop. I don't have the ability to test multiple devices right now as I'm in the process of moving, so all of my other desktops are in storage. And instead of moving my desktop around the house to different rooms, I moved the access points instead. That shouldn't make much of a difference, but I figured I'd let you guys know on that. Each access point was tested, only one powered on at a time, in the same locations around my house. Starting off, I have in my room here, then I tested it one room away, and then I also tested them two rooms away on the opposite end of my house. My house is about 2400 square feet, so that should give you a little bit of a size reference for the spacing of my test. Let's get into the test results. Taking a look at performance, these tests were done with iPerf running on my 10 gigabit server in my basement. We can see that the APAC Lite couldn't even break 100 megabits per second even in the same room as my desktop. And things only get worse from here. It averaged just 70.3 megabits per second one room away and 27.1 megabits per second two rooms away. We don't have a single test result that's above 100 megabits per second and these graphs go to 400. So we definitely have better performing access points in this test. Overall, this is why I stopped deploying the AC Lite. It's basically useless. Moving over to the APAC Pro, its performance stomps all over the AC Lite. It averages 245 megabits per second in the same room as my computer. And moving the access point one room away, our numbers drop to an average of 168 megabits per second. So far, the APAC Pro is looking pretty good. Looking at the performance numbers from two rooms away on the other side of my house, our numbers are still on average over 100 megabits per second. The AC Pro's slowest speed is faster than the light's fastest. Now the Nano HD was a bit weird. I ran these tests multiple times and kept getting the same results. The results in the same room were lower than the AC Pro at an average of 231 megabits per second. Moving one room away, our speeds beat out the APAC Pro at 203 megabits per second. But then, and I think this is because it might not have as powerful antennas as the Pro, it loses to the Pro two rooms away with an average of only 56.9 megabits per second, compared to the Pro's 102 megabits per second. Getting on to the main event, the U6 Lite. The U6 Lite beats every other access point in the same room test with an average throughput speed of 306 megabits per second. Moving the access point one room away, it still averages 291 megabits per second. These are the closest numbers I've seen between tests. Putting the access point on the other side of my house, our speeds drop down to 129 megabits per second. This is still really impressive performance. And here are all of the performance averages. Overall, I'm very happy with the performance of the U6 Lite, being able to beat out every other access point in my testing. I was having some issues with performance at first, but I contacted Cody over at Mac Telecom Networks, and he recommended that I change the channel width to 80, and since doing so, I haven't had any other issues. So thank you, Cody. I will have a link down in the description to his channel, along with purchase links to everything that I talked about in this video. If you're a home user with a decent 802.11 AC Wi-Fi system in place, I wouldn't recommend going out and replacing all of your access points. But if you're a business, upgrade. This stuff is awesome. With the U6 Lite being able to beat every other access point in my testing, I'm officially changing my recommendation from the APAC Pro to the U6 Lite or the U6 LR. And I can't wait to see what Ubiquiti has in store for the rest of their Wi-Fi 6 lineup. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Let me know what access points you're running if you've already upgraded to the Wi-Fi 6 stuff and how that's working out for you. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.